good morning guys good morning good morning good morning good morning i want to welcome you guys to motivation monday so i'm so glad that you decided to turn it on today you know how we do i'm so glad that you did i hope you all had a fantastic weekend of course i'm so glad that you decided to tap in tune in and turn on this channel today and for my singers that always turn it on you know that I love you. For those that are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Click that bell so you don't miss a thing. You stay connected with me. You'll often hear me reference my family as my singers, my VSPs, vibrational singing people. So I want to welcome you guys to Motivation Mondays. As I was saying, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. This weekend was just jam-packed and just slam-packed for me. So many obligations would, you know, even on a Sunday with my children, just all so busy. But my the day that I just thoroughly enjoyed the, the most was with my family. <laughs> I met up with my cousins this weekend, and it was surreal for me. We celebrated a couple birthdays, but it's so funny because I'm so used to everybody with ponytails and, of course, me getting in trouble. <laughs> Turning over, you know, games and tables and stuff. Just craziness. But we just had so much fun growing up, and it just was so surreal for me because everybody is grown. I'm like, oh, my God. Y'all better be tuned in today, too. If not, I'm going to get you. <laughs> so, welcome to Motivation Mondays. At the end of this, I'm, I have a couple announcements to make. So, my first announcements, uh, period. So, I'm really excited about that. But I want to go ahead and jump in today. We're going to talk about uh, belief. Belief is the root to manifesting or nesting. Belief is the root to manifesting or nesting for sure. So I wanted to talk about that today. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is, of course, you know, we have to define our terms. So we're most definitely going to clarify that. The second thing I'm going to talk about is just the research to prove how important belief is in manifesting the desires that we have in our life. Uh, the third thing is I'm going to give you four steps to stopping limiting belief and then, of course, the the final thing would be affirmations for the day just to get you kind of going for the week okay so we'll go ahead and get started with belief okay so belief is to accept something as being true to feel it to believe it that's what believe is okay it's to imagine it to assume it uh, to conclude it to understand it and then belief itself is accept a statement that, that's true, whether it is or not. It's acceptance of it. You feel it. You believe that, okay? Uh, it's to have faith in something, to trust it, to have confidence in it, rely on it. You just believe. It's just, that's what it is. It's in your mind. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about some of the science behind it. Because, of course, you know, I don't take anybody's word for anything. So, I have to get the biochemistry of the belief. So, I was able to, to get that for you guys today. I was able to get that. And it says that beliefs are uh, present, organized filters to our perceptions of the world. That's internal and external. So, that's what that is. Belief, you also have sensors with that. Just like we talked about the emotions last week in the brain. And so it's an internal demand to the brain as to how to represent what is happening when we believe something to be true. Okay, now the absence of belief in our brain will cause uh, vibrations and transmitters within our brain to where we just get discouraged. We just feel disempowered. And in most cases, we give up. We just don't see it through. So that's what that is. Um, there's also several sources in belief that kind of feeds into our belief. Uh, some of it is in childhood, but some of it is just, you know, uh, our environment, the events that have happened, knowledge, uh, past experiences. Of course, we can always restore that and change that with our visual visualizations, affirmations to a new just to, to, to establish new beliefs, visualizations, affirmations, prayer, those type of things. Now, our beliefs also trigger emotions from the conscious and subconscious part of our brain. 
okay they also contribute to the vibration and our beliefs actually do become our reality so it's like you believe it you have the emotion wrapped up with with that and then boom there's your vibrations pulling it in from the spiritual or energy world into the physical world now scientific research has proved repeatedly that the emotional brain is no longer confined to the common locales of the hippocampus amygdala and the hypothalamus so it's no longer limited to that because of the filtering process of the sensors they travel reaching higher levels of processing like the frontal lobes okay of our conscious awareness so that uh, makes our receptors open our cell membranes are flexible uh, to our sensitivity so that's really really good so that's why we're able to change so easily with that um, I also wanted to talk about a, a placebo um, that was done as well I'm trying to find my notes here but it was a placebo done uh, to support all of this all of this information um, um, that we have and in the placebo, I remember it, so I'll just go ahead and tell you. In the placebo, it was a patient that had a severe case of nausea and vomiting. And um, they told her that they were uh, administering a new drug, that they had a new drug that they wanted to try. But the drug was very potent, and it would stop the nausea and the vomiting immediately. So the patient agreed to be a part of the placebo, and she took the drug, and immediately the vomiting stopped. The vomiting stopped. They did the gastric examination like they did prior to where they saw some inflammation and some things going on. They did it after. Totally vanished. Here's the magic about belief. That was a drug to actually induce vomiting and induce nausea. But because they told her that, it hit the frontal lobe of her brain immediately. So before she even received it, she believed it. And that's why she healed herself of the situation. And that is how powerful belief is in our life. And that is how powerful manifestation is in our life. Because if you believe something bad enough before you even receive it, it happens. That is a perfect example backed up by science unbelievable you know and it also brings me to a uh, neuro-linguistic programming which it's all like studies with the brain and belief and it, it is a uh, it was a study neuro-linguistic programming for those of you who may want to research that is the study of structure of subjective experience and what can be calculated from that and is predicted upon the belief that all behavior has a structure to it so in the neuro-linguistic program uh, it was specifically created and people are trained in NLP uh, in order to allow new ways of understanding how verbal and nonverbal communication affect our brain okay and it gives us an opportunity to communicate better of course with others but also learn how to gain control over what we consider to be automatic functions of neurology okay so automatic functions of neurology and I want to give you uh, an exercise that you can do for those of us that have limiting beliefs some of us are older some of us may be younger with limiting beliefs it can hit you at any age to where you really don't believe that you can receive the things that you desire and that is the root of all manifesting because the belief right there in that placebo study shows you that your brain is so strong that whatever you believe you immediately link up to that and it can happen so so much faster than what you're giving yourself credit for because after all you are electromagnetic energy and after all you are the creator of your life okay in sync with god in sync with source and in sync with vibration so um i want to give you four steps on how to stop limiting belief limiting beliefs number one i want you to write down what the limiting belief is whatever it is write it down number two acknowledge that there is a belief and it's not the truth it's just what you believe acknowledge that Number three, try on a different belief. Just try it. And number four, take action on that belief immediately. So let me repeat this. Write down the limiting belief first. Then I want you to sit there and think about it. This is something that you conjured up in your mind. It's not the truth. It's just what you think. Number three, I want you to try on a different belief. And number four, I want you to take action. 
take a different action. I want you to try that. And in the comments, let me know how that worked for you. Let me know how it worked for you. And then the last thing that I wanted to give you before the affirmations for today is a quote for Napoleon Hill. And I absolutely love him. I have several of his books. Napoleon Hill says that when faith or belief is blended with the vibration of thought, the subconscious mind instantly picks up the vibration, translates it into spiritual equivalent, and transmits it to the infinite intelligence, as in the case of a prayer. Napoleon Hill, phenomenal. So that is how important your belief is when it's blended with the vibration of thought. Your inner person, your subconscious mind grabs it immediately and it goes to work for you. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into some affirmations, okay? I will always love, respect, and believe in myself. I believe that I already have received my desires. I see it and I feel it and I visualize that. Things are always working out for me. I am transforming every day, evolving into a higher self, a higher person, a better person who can achieve anything. I can achieve anything. I can accomplish anything that I set my mind to. I feel more confident in my abilities each day. My mind is totally focused on success. I will always succeed. I am connected to God. I am connected to source. I am connected to the creator. I will not connect to anything that lowers my self-worth, my vibration, or my self-esteem. I believe that I have an abundant life right now. I believe that I have received and always will receive the desires of my heart. I know that I have the victory. There's nothing that I cannot do. I am not a nester, but indeed a master manifester. And know this, one person with a belief is equal to a force of 99 who only have interest. One person with belief is equal to a force of 99 who only have interest. That's some deep stuff, guys. Now, I wanted to mention, too, the announcements, okay? Before, you know, this ends, I want to go into the announcements for today. I got a contest coming up and I need your help singers for number one, I'm wanting to reach 100 subscribers by May 1st. So to uh, be entered in the contest for my existing singers, please go over to my email. I will link that in the description box and give me your email information. I'm gonna enter and your name. Um, and I'm gonna enter your name into it automatically. You're automatically entered into it. For new subscribers, once you subscribe, Show me that you've subscribed to the channel uh, and then go over to my Instagram and follow me. Shonda Holt on Instagram. Follow me on there and then I will, um, you know, email me that information and your name will be entered. For my singers that are already existing, if you refer someone to it, you get to be entered twice. Even the new people, if you refer somebody, you enter twice. Just make sure that they mention you when they tap into the channel uh, and click the, the bell, okay? Now, it will be a drawing on May 1st. The first place winner will receive a $100 gift card. $100. The runner-up would get $50. So it is an incentive to sing with us. <laughs> wow! <Wah! laughs> so I'm so excited, guys. That's the first, that's the first announcement. The second announcement, mm, I don't know if you're gonna like it, but next week, 
I'm challenging y'all seven day vegan challenge. It's getting ready to be springtime. I want to put my swimsuit on and I want to be absolutely fabulous. I know you do too. And, cl and plus we want to be healthy. That's going to help with our vibration. So enter the contest, email me your information singers. Of course, if you refer someone that tell them to let me know, but for new people, click the, uh, the subscribe click the bell go over to shonda hope follow me on instagram screenshot this stuff and email this to me and everybody gets their name put in the pool for the contest okay a hundred dollars for the first person 50 for the runner up and next week seven day vegan challenge okay i know it's a lot but of course it's me of course it's gonna be a lot because i love you and i want i want you guys to have a fantastic day Mwah. Bye now. <laughs> Bye.